scientists, how's it going? Did you know that we have five senses that help us learn about the world around us? These senses include sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Each uses a specific body part to help gather information. Let's learn more about the five senses. I have two eyes. I can see with my eyes. My sense of sight lets me see things in my environment, like colors, people, and animals. Look, a cat is climbing down a tree. Our eyes help us see animals that are active during the day and animals that are active at night. Creatures that are most active during the day are called diurnal. Creatures that are most active at night are called nocturnal. Now listen to what I say. Then you will think and tell me if it is a diurnal animal or a nocturnal animal. Are you ready? Here we go. What can you see? I can see a horse. Are horses diurnal or nocturnal animals? What can you see? I can see some ostriches. Are ostriches diurnal or nocturnal animals? What can you see? I can see some chickens. Are chickens diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a cow. Are cows diurnal or nocturnal animals? What can you see? I can see an owl. Are owls diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a cat. Are cats diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a wolf. Are wolves diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a dog. Are dogs diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a bee. Are bees diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a butterfly. Are butterflies diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a hamster. Are hamsters diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a bunny. Are bunnies diurnal or nocturnal? What can you see? I can see a bat. Are bats diurnal or nocturnal? Excellent job. Now it's your turn to use your eyes to see all the things around you. Don't forget to take good care of your eyes. Thanks for joining me today. See you next class. Goodbye.